<clears throat> Hi everyone in uh, YouTube you know, social media platforms out there. Hope everyone is doing well. I had to redo the uh, videos at four o'clock because <clears throat> the first one sucked. I was I was hiccuping and um, you know every second <coughs> like that. And it's because of I, my my first cup of coffee when I wake up at four o'clock in the afternoon. I just I just barrel down and the the gap between the oxygen and the liquid causes the hiccups. So now we know. That's right, boys and girls, from it's Matic for music and entertainment. Waking up at four o'clock in the afternoon, finding out that Canada's single use plastic ban a first step in waste reduction. What's next? I will never give up my plastic bags. That's the way it is. And realistically, realistically, all you're doing is transferring the crap from one crap to another because reusable bags require you to use a shitload of water to wash them over and over again. So now, instead of having a landfill of plastic bags, which we could probably figure out how to recycle or reuse in time, you're going after our watershed. So we're going to go up to that tap behind us and there's not going to be any water left because we've been, we've been washing our reusable freaking or reusable uh, bags because of it. So real, real smart move. And plus, what are you going to do with people that have swallowing issues with, um, uh, plastic forks and um, plastic uh, spoons and uh, straws. Well, what are you going to do about that? And then, you know, they're going to they're going to put these little subtexts, you know, with exceptions. Because I guarantee you, there's going to be certain grocery stores, like the dollar stores and uh, China Tiger. I mean. I, I do not, I cannot see. I mean, there's a group of people that, you know, do bring our reusable bags, but percentage of people in John Tiger, they, they, they don't have enough aptitude, fortitude, or even, they're poor. So they don't have time to worry about saving the freaking planet. They worried about getting that box of a dollar twenty-seven craft dinner, and that—that's the no name. That's what they're worried about. They're not worried about waste reduction. Anyway, so that's happening at four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Canada will spend forty billion dollars over twenty years to upgrade NORAD defenses amid new threats. Canada, new defenses. How are we gonna? What, what do we got? You know, that's how Canada fights. Bunch of, bunch of girly boys. Yeah, and you're looking at, the bully's just looking at you going, what was I thinking? Yeah, you got, you got more problems than he, he deserves to be bullied on. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, back, back in the 70s and 80s. Oh, yeah. I remember those good old days. Just a couple of uh, tell the bullies kind of just, and when we when we look at the bully and go, hey, <laughs> it's you 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 thought like to choose it. It made him look like oh, like a fool. Anyway, <clears throat> Freeland, our uh, deputy minister or whatever, prime minister or whatever, uh, Freeland defends budget after Scotia Bank uh, accuses Feds of doing nothing on inflation. They're not doing nothing. They're they're not even they're not even discussing it. Like Freeland, all really. All I ask is that you acknowledge that we are knee deep in shit. That's all. That, 
like, you know, just walk up to the podium. Fellow Canadians, the inflation, we're fucked. Have a nice day. I'd walk away. I'd be happy. I'd be, I'd be delirious. But do they? No. They, they, they just use this, uh, this evil double speak. And a uh, percentage of people go, oh, okay. Even though, like I was saying, you know, dollar twenty-seven for a box of macaroni. Gen, gen, <clears throat> of course, you know, a decade from now, yeah, about a decade. Jennifer Lopez introducing her child on stage using gender-neutral pronouns. A decade. There is going to be a a, a messed up group of young adults in 10 years. Seriously messed up. But, so, what do I know? <clears throat> CN Rio signals communication employees walk off job. Well, it's understandable. You know, all these all these government people are going, yes, our, our, our job market is the highest and all this bullshit. It's not. Every... Everywhere I look and everywhere I've talked to, like people around here, you're looking at 30% of the staff are not there. You know, and the only reason why they're probably looking at the numbers is because the people that are there are working 12 hours a day. Like, yeah, I mean, she's emphasized several times to me that, <clears throat> you know, come over. You know, they're looking for people. I'll go back to you know, and the people that are working are burning out in every department. Like right now, they're going on strike on the rails. The airlines are going going bye bye. I guarantee you, next is healthcare. Guaranteed. Um, my terrier father, who was whose two children were killed by drunk driver, and 15 died from suicide. Oh wow, that. That is not cool. Wow. So, uh, does the person that killed the three children get charged for another additional? It's cause and effect. What a what an all around nightmarish story that is. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> they canceled the uh, Manitoba Marathon too hot. It went up to the magic number is 31.7 degrees. It's shutdown time. And the head coordinator goes, look, we're shutting it down. And some of the marathoners are going, hey, I'm running. Okay. That's your own risk. And about half of them were saying that they literally had to walk. <laughs> that's, how, that's how bad it was. And these are high-end runners. That's how hot it was. So it was understandable to uh, you know, shut, shut, shut it down. Winnipeg man taken to hospital after accidentally shooting himself. Police say. Um, and this is what uh, yeah, it makes makes sense. There was hardly nobody over at these venues yesterday because because of the heat. I mean, maybe a hundred here and there scattered all over the place because they they couldn't they couldn't uh, sit around at home. And, uh, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> I'm getting uh, comments on my uh, comment board on my Facebook already. Our armed man arrested at an outdoor Winnipeg concert venue Saturday night. You know, people were going over there because they didn't have the money, but they wanted to do something. So they go to these places and they have to worry about armed, armed people that are going to harm you at 30 at 30 degrees no 38 degrees last night unbelievable and uh federal court certifies class action uh for off reserve indigenous uh kids you know what it's at a point where you know what well, we're trying our best with what we have the, the resources that we have we're, we're trying our best to you know save these kids and then you pull this, okay, fine, have a nice life. And just, <clears throat> it's time to walk away. Like, seriously, it's time to walk away. The only, the only situation that they do is lawsuits. That's their, 
that's their solution to everything. So uh, we're got it. We're out of here. We did nothing, nothing to, uh, nothing to discuss. You, you think you can do a better job taking care of these kids? There you go. Have a have a nice life. And just walk away. This is the only solution left. Uh, check this out. Eleven people and a monkey. I'm, I'm not shit. I'm reading this right now. 11 people and a monkey in a bulletproof vest in Mexico cartel shootout. Now, it works It works itself into several different jokes. You know, First off, what the fuck was a monkey doing with a, a, a bulletproof vest on in the first place? Who put, the, who put it on him? And on top of that, was, was the monkey packing? Was he part of the cartel? Uh, probably the monkey was the head guy. There you go. See, it just, it works itself. It's just no, no problem with the jokes. I mean, give me another couple of more minutes and I can probably shoot out a couple of others. So, uh, there you go. Yeah. And, and, hey, if he's the boss, don't call him a monkey. Like in uh, Scarface. Listen, you little monkey. Hey, you don't talk to me like that classic stuff. Like I said, it works out for itself. Life's good. The Six of Swords invites you to let go of whatever is holding you back, be it from your past or your present circumstances. Instead, gaze ahead to your future. And tonight, the future of Tampa is in their own hands. They, they, there is no choice. There is no choice. They have to win this game. Because if they don't win this game, they're going back to Colorado, and that's it, with the Stanley Cup. So, 7 o'clock, be there tonight. And uh, it's 28 above in Winnipeg. If you can believe it, it's actually cooler. 10 degrees cooler. <laughs> so, with that, fellow YouTubers, if you like, like, if you want to support, subscribe to Ed's Matter for Music and Entertainment. Please do keep safe. Winnipeggers, uh, also, it looks like. I'm an expert when it comes to certain things. And it looks like a tornado is coming. I've been through two tornadoes. I know the, what it looks like for tornado weather. So, um, plus, my, plus my hands are, my hands are a little spider sense here. So a storm is coming up. So everyone in Winnipeg, just stay home. Put on the air conditioner. Cool, a couple of cool beverages, watch a hockey, everyone. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Keep safe. Yeah, monkey. Bye-bye. <laughs>